Welcome back on the Domino's Post Game Report as Carson Newman comes out victorious over the Limestone Saints. 69-28, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks. Uh, Ken, congratulations, career win 332. Let's go ahead and get it out of the way. You tie Larry Karras for fifth on the all-time wins list. I know you know Larry. Uh, what's this win mean to you in that regard? Well, Larry Karras is a quality football coach, and I probably uh, – can't carry his whistle uh, he won so many games and so fast and uh he's a good he's a good friend good a good uh, uh, uh somebody i have a lot of respect for and so um it's a shame for um my name to be above his name or tie his name i guess so um we um but we're grateful for that and grateful of course uh, as always for other people that should uh be getting attention from that not me because i hadn't played a play and i haven't done anything to uh, except to line up with a good group of men so um, i'm just grateful talked before this game about this being a potential trap game well i think you proved in a hurry that that wasn't the case for your squad mentally uh what was it about the preparation that let you know that uh, you were going to handle business today well i certainly didn't like our start defensively uh, I didn't like our start with the return on the kickoff. I didn't like our start defensively where they pretty much uh, went down the field. Uh, <clears throat> and that's uh, that's not the way, you know, that's that roller coaster thing again uh, that we cannot, we've got to grow out of that. Uh, and uh, and there was a few times we missed tackles and we missed blocks. And uh, Coach Clowney was preaching a little bit after the first five minutes of the game, and that shouldn't have to happen. They are be preaching to themselves. They are be getting after themselves, and um, so uh, I certainly didn't like the first three or four minutes of the ball game. I didn't. Um, <coughs> there were stages I certainly didn't like kickoff coverage. Uh, I didn't like the missed blocks at times that stopped drives or the missed tackles that kept drives alive, and uh, all those things are things that don't take but one of them to get you beat. <coughs> and so those are the things that we're going to continue to improve on continue to work at and hope that we keep growing up and I think we will and and uh, that was step number four since uh, we lost I guess and so now let's go step number five a lot of uh, uh, names that you don't frequently hear about step up and do big things today Antonio Wimbush first time that he leads uh, the team in rushing 82 yards plus two scores that came from more than 30 yards out uh, what about the job of a freshman running back to come in and make an impact today. Well, he's a quality football player. There's no question about it. And uh, <clears throat> and we can name a lot of people. I I sure enjoyed watching three backs that hadn't played a whole lot at the end of the ball game, blocking for each other and running hard. And, uh, you know, uh, Marcus and Ben and, and uh, uh, Dillingham did a great job of, of really complimenting each other. So that was complimentary, I thought. How nice is it as a coach to be in a game where you can get the eight guys the football enough that they all rush for at least 30 yards? Well, I think that's wonderful. And I, you know, I think we traveled with close to 70 people, uh, maybe 67 people, and all of them played except for three that's trying to red shirt that we just had as, as insurance in case somebody got hurt because we're so thin in some places. And so, uh, and most of them played significantly. So, It'd be fun to get them on video and watch and and, uh, and give them a chance to develop a little bit more. You gave Noah Suber significant action today. He replaces DeAndre Thomas at quarterback early in the second quarter. Uh, again, we talked about reps. How nice was it to get Suber uh, significant playing time more than a half of football? Well, he's prepared well all year and and has been very patient. Uh, and I I thought he deserved a chance and and uh, and he did a great job with it. And uh, and then our, our little buddy comes in there, Big Goose, and, and he does a great job. And so uh, we had three quarterbacks that functioned really well today. Goose Manning dressed up for Halloween earlier this week <laughs> as Ken Sparks. Uh, you guys had some fun at walkthrough on Friday. What re is a more relaxed tone? What did that do for your team this week? Well, I don't really know. I I just know Goose is not as good looking as a real Coach Sparks, <laughs> but <clears throat> but uh, I think uh, uh, I think we did have some fun together, and then we uh, ended it up with a very significant thing when we had a couple guys get baptized in the creek, and uh, uh, 
Chaplain Richard Everett baptized them in the creek, and that was how can you how can, how can it get any better than that? That was super. Ken, pleasure as always. Congratulations on Thanks, career buddy. win 332 and a fourth consecutive win. Thanks. Appreciate it. That is Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks.